Hello all, welcome back. Well, yes, there's a lot of cack on this shelf. Hopefully this should be sending Al's OCD into overdrive. Nice one. Right all, yes, another one of those shelf videos, there's quite a lot on this one, so I'm going to start with the bits and the bobs, and there is quite a bit of that in all fairness, so I'm going to just put it there for now, <sighs> that's just a bloody magic mouse case, we all know what they are, 3 into one adapters with a USB charger in it, <laughs> yeah, LED, LED lights, change that. Oh, right, let's get over here. Right. Did any of you get that a few videos ago? I know it's a remote control, but it's actually a remote control for a Panasonic Q. These things can go for nearly... 200 250 pounds each for the remote i just throw it about the room now this little gadget i've got myself on. i've never got round to doing it and i can't remember what the hell it's even for it is a v2 chip i could tell you that much but it's for the saturn i think it's a region free thing i can't remember I'll have to look the damn thing up, but more importantly, if I do it getting the damn thing fitted. Batteries. I've always got to have batteries. Oh, God, what the hell's all this now? Oh, my. Little flash drives. I've got bloody loads of them. I'll just keep them all here on the shelf. I couldn't even tell you what's in half of these. Oh God, I've had this some. Now this is when I started off doing videos. 3D sound, just a sound thing for a microphone. You know, just plug it in the USB. It worked pretty well, but you know, the sound quality wasn't the best. Look, see, got another one. Oh, don't lose these, William. I actually need these. Oh, and I've got two of them. And I haven't got a clue why I've got two of them. Right, anyway. Sandisk, and it's obviously a. Let's just pull that out. What's the 32 gigabyte in there? So it's got 32 gigabyte on it. What's this one got? Another 32. I'm gonna have to have a look at these because I know about one. One I use for the camera. I don't know what the hell I use the other one for. And then I just plug that into the computer and download the documents off it. Keep them to one side. Stickers, can't remember what the hell that's off. Somebody will. Video capture card. This is dirt cheap. HDMI video capture. But it works really, really well. I'm trying to remember how much. I'm sure this is only a tenner from China. It's a great little thing. Just plug it in, away you go. Remote from the Apple TV. I told you there's tons of bits on here. Another one. Plastic cases, bits of bloody wire. Oh god, I need to keep that actually. It's not bits of wire, it's off a figure. Right, with all that out the way, apart from the other side, I'll get rid of that. And I told you the shelf was full of cack. Oh, there you go. That was my magic mouse replacement box. Anyway. Right, we're down to the games at last. And I'm going to start, obviously, at this side. As you can see, the bulk of it is Dreamcast. So, Arrow Wings. 
Formula One. Intrepid Izzy. Was there any system none of these came out of? Soviet came out on Resident Evil 2. What a classic game that is. Well, we've got a little bit of paper. What have we got here? Limited Run. Club of Fun News. What's this bit? Oh, it's more Club of Fun News. I've just kept them. I don't know why. We'll get rid of this row. And then we'll look at these 3DO games. Now, Splatter House. So you can see I've got this. It never officially came out in the Dreamcast. But this is a brilliant game. Absolutely fantastic. I think it plays best on the Dreamcast than any other system I've ever played it on. Purely because you can select any of the three games. And you can actually play any of the three games at any sort of level. And character, you can change the main character. So it's a brilliant, brilliant game. Marvel vs. Capcom. I'm hoping to actually pick up the second game soon. Absolutely fantastic, that is. Grand Theft Auto 2. Yep. And this is how this thing all started. This and the original was a top-down game. Absolutely fantastic. Virtual Striker 2. <laughs> what a giggle that is. I have played it. Oh, man. Reminds me of the football games, obviously, on the arcades back in the day. NBA Showtime. Plays fantastic. Exhibition of Speed, EOS. Another good game, that. Like I say, I'm just going to get rid of these bits. Buzz Lightyear. Why not? As you can see, I've got these in the proper protective cases. Of which I need to sort a load of them out, actually. Slave Zero. Jet Set Radio. Now, that's my sealed copy. I'll stay sealed because I've got another copy that's open. Toy Racer. Again, that's a sealed copy. But it's a brilliant game. Right, we're going to get on to these 3DOs. And the first one is a box I actually did straighten out a bit. Doom. And it's in the original big box. I'll just get this one out so that you can see what, what you do get within these boxes. So, warranty cards, the game, but as you can see, sealed. Just looking down the button there, and then you get that, and that's it. That's it in a nutshell. I don't even know if that's supposed to come with a manual. I would have thought so, but there's, you know what? there's no room in the box for one, if I'm going to be honest with you. So, pop that away. I even forgot that game was sealed, in all fairness. Another one, but this is a sealed from the outside. Stella 7. Never played it, obviously. This next game I have played. <laughs> Demolition Man. Now, obviously, that other game I showed you isn't complete, because that one is, because we've got the manual. That's it. That's how they came. This is actually not bad game. The full motion video, though, does not really give the game any justice. <laughs> but it is good for a laugh. Al, your OCD kicked in yet? Right, let's get on with these. Wild Metal. 
I'm actually going to put these back nice and neat there. Tee off. Got to have a golf game, haven't you? NHL 2K. Evolution. That, if I remember correctly, is a great light gun game. Absolutely fantastic. Sega Bass Fishing. I want to pick up the fishing rod. I really do. Fur Fighters. Jimmy White 2. Now, again, this is sealed. Now, the first Jimmy White game I ever played was actually on the Amiga, and it was brilliant. Me and my mate Andy had a blast playing it. MTV Skateboarding. Again, F1 Grand Prix, but sealed. WWF. Who remembers when they were called that, eh? World Wrestling Federation. Is that Toy Commander? It is. This was a really hard game. I got old off cheap. I really did struggle getting it. No, I'm not piling them in alphabetical order. I'm trying to even get this one in there. What's that? Oh, hang on, I bet that's where the thing is in it, the shelf. Yeah, there it is. Right, okay. It's as high as it goes, in other words. My unsealed version of Jet Set Radio. Dead or Alive 2. This is actually... Sorry, let me get it. I'm trying to get it so it doesn't glare. This is actually brilliant. As you can see, it originally retailed there for $39.99. That's probably not far off what its current retail value is today. It's absolutely fantastic. And if you've not played this one, give it a go. House of the Dead 2. These are fantastic shooters. Absolutely brilliant. Easily worth a play today. Pick up and play shooters. Absolutely fantastic. Sega Worldwide Soccer 2000. Doesn't really do much, does it? The front cover there. It's actually it's a pretty good game. Arcade Racing Legends. Again, this is sealed. It's not been opened. More of a modern game, that obviously only came out a few years ago, that one. Worms Armageddon. They were fantastic when they first came out. Now this, Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver. I am a big fan of the Legacy of Kane series. It originally started off on the PlayStation. And there is, what, uh, one, two, three, four, five games in total. Oh, I would really love a remake of these. They're just brilliant. It gives such a fantastic story. Raziel, you are worthy. Power Stone. Wacky Races. Came out on multiple systems, but a good, good fun. Good fun. Like, you know, just, it's just like another carton game, really. Is that Make an X? Yeah, it is Make an X. I can't remember this one. Ultimate Fighting Championship. Does it really need any form of introduction? Not really. It's massive now, this sport. When it first started, it wasn't. It is now, absolutely. Right, we're on the, uh, almost the home straight. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six. Sorry. Yeah. Put the game into shot, William. I've only just really started getting into these as well. The Tom Clancy games. Tons of fun. 
Four Wheel Thunder. Played that recently. Great game. Well worth playing still. Right, I'm trying not to uh, overcast everything. Super runabout. Again, it's sealed as well. Was there any system that did not come out on? Who wants to be a millionaire? Blue Stinger. If you like your Resident Evil games, you thoroughly enjoy that. Great game. Right, pick this up. I picked up the keyboard as well. Typing of the Dead. This is such a quirky game. And you play the game quite literally, as it says. So, you know, the zombies will be coming towards you. And then you may have to type out, say, the word um, piano. As long as you type it out correctly and quick enough, you'll shoot the guy and kill him. And so on and so forth. And obviously it gets harder as the game goes on. The Dream Key. Obviously not used anymore. It's probably the only foreign game I've got. Those, this, yeah, this one and the other one. Typing of the Dead. F355 Challenge. Oh, I waited so long for this and I've still not opened it. Xeno Crisis. It was. It took such a long time for this game to come through. It was untrue, absolutely untrue. Easily waited over twelve months for that. Thought I'd lost my money basically. And the last games to show you on this particular shelf are all the hit run games. I think I've got them piled up there in two separate piles for a reason. Let's just have a look at that a second. Just so the oh I don't know you know what let's just quickly go through them. Batman now these are all Commodore it's Commodore sixty four and I am doing the back first match day two I've got nowhere near as many as a lot of you guys Empire Strikes Back Ooh, Star Wars I keep lost. Fantastic fighting game. And yes, that is Steven Seagal. <laughs> I'll be back. Get to the chopper, Predator. Power Drift. Again, was there any system that didn't come out of? I might organise these in a minute. Short circuit. What a great quirky film that was. Thoroughly enjoyed that one back in the day. Let's just grab a whole chunk of these now. Arkanoid. It was just a, an up-to-date breakout, let's be honest. Crazy Cars. Green Beret. One of the hardest games you'll ever play on the old Commodore, that one. And the Spectrum. Enduro Racer. I was watching that before. Just some guy play it. Chase HQ, possibly the worst port of this game on any system. Um, tell me if I'm wrong. But it's a horrible game to play on the Commodore. The New Zealand story. Bubble, bubble, get in there. What, what a classic game that is. After burn it. Sorry, I keep dropping out of shot, don't I? Operation Wolf. Look at, the, look at the art, the box art. It was Bob, wasn't it? Can't remember his name now. I only, have, I only got to meet him the once before he died, unfortunately. Target Renegade. Salamander. Classic shooter. The box art, the box art's fantastic. Licence to Kill. Down to our last three. <laughs> Spitting image. <laughs> I don't think it's anywhere near as good as it used to be. God, do you remember the Pope he used to um, wear dark sunglasses and he used to be a heavy metal. <laughs> anyway, run the gauntlet. He remembers the TV series. And the last one. Rambo 3. Well... That shelf is absolutely rammed packs. 
Uh, I might ask the wife if she'll put it all back into alphabetical order for me. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? I'm out of here, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting me. Catch you all again. Take care. Woohoo!